Good morning pirates and mermaids. This is Alex with Patterns for Pirates and today we're starting our cocoon and butterfly cardigan sew alongs. If you remember a couple of weeks ago I posted a poll in the main Patterns for Pirates group and it looks like a lot of you wanted to do the cocoon cardigan uh, sew along. So the people have spoken. <laughs> this is what we're doing this week. This uh, pattern is drafted for knits so uh, cozy uh, needs but it are uh, honestly I've done this pattern in a lot of variety of fabrics so um, you can't really go wrong with any honestly um, tomorrow we'll be discussing more about the fabrics today as always we're gonna focus on um, the basic basics of the pattern printing it and uh, choosing the right size and um, uh, having everything ready for tomorrow to cut the fabric. So if you're not familiar with Patterns for Pirates, this is uh, something that I wanted to draw your attention to today, which is the uh, our round out post. Every time we release a pattern, we have a round out post, round up post, which shows you um, like bullet points of the pattern, whether it comes in adults, youth, whether it the, the type of sleeves, the type of necklines, the type of length, everything is in one single block. So I will always I would always start with that um, particular section when you choose a pattern. This way you have a, an idea of the options included with it. So if you haven't seen this uh, yet, or if you're new to the group, make sure you take a look of our, on our website, patternsforpirates.com. Just type in the search bar, cocoon, and the first one that will pop up would be the roundup. So this will help you select the size, uh, select the style you want to make, and it gives you um, images from the testers uh, of various styles. It comes in... Uh, crop length, uh, long bands, short bands, all kinds of options. Uh, obviously it is maternity friendly so um, this is something you want to uh, you want to take a look over. Once you purchase your pattern it's super easy you just have to go into uh, your account and go to your um, downloads and once you're in your downloads, you will have the pattern right there, um, right here. So download the um, uh, letter format if you're in the U.S. and save it on your computer, or if you're in, you are in um, uh, outside of the U.S., the letter format would be for you. Uh, the A0 format is for um, copy shop, uh, copy. Um, shops it's the big format that um, uses uh, one yard paper so uh, once you're done with uh, with that make sure you go wherever you saved your pattern and you open it with and this is imperative um, do not open it in preview do not open it in your um, browser like right now if I click double click on it on my Mac it's set automatic to preview so you don't want to open it in a preview because you're gonna it's not gonna open correctly so you just have to uh, open it with come on there you go you open it with Adobe Reader always with Adobe Reader of course now it's telling me I need to update the Adobe Reader <laughs> I will after the video uh, so once you're in the pattern itself, make sure you take your appropriate measurements. I will link uh, Judy's blog on how to take measurements, uh, to take your correct measurements for the pattern and uh, choose the size that fits you or whoever you're sewing for. Do not go by, by uh, store size or ready to wear size because that is not how we draft the patterns always use the size chart in the pattern. So uh, you have on the left side a guide of all the sizes. So all you have to do is unclick the ones you don't want to use and leave clicked the ones you do want to use. I will be grading for my hips so I'm leaving two sizes open not just one. And when there is a pattern that 
uh, doesn't have too too many pages I tend to print all the options this way I have them there for future use and I don't have to reprint it if there's a pattern that has like a million pages and I just need one and I'm sure I'm not gonna have another one done tomorrow I just print that one option but from what I remember this pattern has uh, doesn't have too many pages I'm trying to see uh, so I'm gonna go ahead and print all the options all right so it starts at page 17 the actual pattern and so I'm going to go print and here is something I wanted to show you make sure you have actual scale selected do not select fit because it will uh, change this, the format of the paper and auto portrait and landscape do not select one or the other make it on auto this way your printer will know exactly what to select uh, I'm going to go ahead and print just the pattern I don't need the tutorial printed saves me some ink and some paper so there you have it once you've uh, printed your pattern you will uh, be taping it together and cutting your uh, your size okay so now that we have printed the pattern I realized um, while I was printing that I was actually showing you guys printing the um, A4 international version because I think that's one I, the one I had saved by accident in my Dropbox prior to the video but I did um, correct it and printed the letter size so what you'll see me taping right now is the letter size uh, hence why it's on on both sides I do try to save the planet a little bit and save some paper so I reprinted it but I printed the correct one so double check that uh, before you start always check the one inch or uh, two inch uh, squares I think the newer patterns have a two inch square whereas the older ones have a one inch square so how I check it I like to just cut it out and place it on my mat and if it fits perfectly then uh, there you go it fits just right See? that's how I do it so then we start taping I'm not going to bore you with all my taping but I just want to show you a couple of uh, for especially for the new uh, new pirates in this uh, group I just like to use cheap Elmer's glue so make sure you match A3 to A3 In my pattern I have two lines because I'm grading between sizes. You will have just one if you're, if you're fitting in just one size. So this is what I wanted to show you. Uh, when you tape them you have to match the edge of this paper to the line, the marking line. And then even if you have like an eighth of an inch uh, space there, that's fine. That's totally normal with, the, with, this, pattern, with the, this type of printing. So this is how it look like. Continue printing the whole thing and cut the, the size that you need and set your, your patterns aside, uh, pattern pieces aside for tomorrow uh, when we'll be discussing um, a little bit about the fabric options and um, uh, cutting the, the pattern and the options that you've, uh, you've selected for, uh, for your cocoon cardigans or butterfly cardigans. If you're doing the butterfly obviously you won't you need so much space. <laughs> because that's a that's a kid size all right guys i'll talk to you later bye